right, welcome to the offseason episode. I'm recording this right after the uh, final game of the Eastern Conference Finals, mainly because I expect the offseason to be a very quick episode. Not many cuts in it. It's going to be probably like a five and nine minute video. I plan on getting through it fairly quickly. Player retirements says Andre Gal retires. I will let him retire at 40. LeBron James unable to overturn, but I have an idea to keep him in the league. Kyle Lowry is going to retire. I will let him because he is not under contract. Everyone else is going to retire here. But the way I'm going to keep LeBron James in this league is if I go to the Los Angeles Lakers. And I go to their worst player, who is uh, Kendrick Davis. I'm going to edit Kendrick Davis. I don't care about contract editing. And I saved LeBron James's player DNA from this past season. As you can see right here, I'm going to import everything. And LeBron James is going to stay in the league. It doesn't keep his stats, though, is what I just noticed, which sucks. But it does mean LeBron James stays in the league. LeBron, So we have a new LeBron James. He is 37 years old. Now we can see how long he plays. Uh, so staff retirements, uh, not seeing much there. Hall of Fame inductees, LeBron James, we know he's still playing. It is what it is, not a big deal. Uh, and Dwight Howard, uh, LeBron James gets his number retired and gets 23 retired twice, so he can still wear the number six. Uh, Kyle Lowry gets his number retired by the Raptors, Dwight by the Magic. I'm not sure if that's going to happen in real life, to be really honest with you. League meetings, uh, add two new expansion teams, approve. That is correct. We are getting two new expansion teams in this NBA draft lottery. We are not a part of, so we'll just skip. And the Chicago Bulls get the number one overall pick. Their tank worked. Their blow up of their roster worked. They get the number one overall pick. The Bucks don't even have their pick. That's crazy. The Pelicans are going to get number three. The Sonics and the Scouts are two expansion teams. Get five and six. We are going to have... Do we have our pick? We don't. The Heat have our pick. So that kind of sucks. Staff signing. Steve Clifford. He can stay. I don't have a big issue. Expansion protected players is a big thing. Let's see who the, we're going to protect. Everyone except Marcus Sasser. I am fine with that, I believe. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll get rid of Landry Shamit here. Uh, he's, he's a free agent anyways. Uh, so let's look around the league and see if there's any big players that are not going to be protected. So the Bucks are not going to protect Vucevic. I guess they want to get off his contract after just trading for him. That's a bit interesting. Oh my god. The Nets are not going to protect Chris Murray. So, Chris Murray. Oh yeah, because Keegan Murray. I was so confused for a second. Uh, yeah, so that is a rookie not getting protected. So one of these teams, depending on how good uh, he becomes, is going to see Jim McCall not getting protected. Uh, Pelicans want to get off of that contract but other than those guys not many big players getting um unprotected here most most of the top players and i think i upped it to 10 players you can protect instead of eight so these teams will be bad uh we're gonna submit our changes expansion draft let's see who gets number one it is vucevic to the sonics uh cj mccollum to the scouts the scouts get duncan robinson uh we're gonna send the rest and these teams they're both gonna be pretty bad let's be honest here uh, Landry Shamit got picked, and that is it. Uh, exit the draft, and nope, not qualifying offered. NBA draft. I don't think we have a pick. We have the 28th overall pick in the second round. I don't know what this draft consists of here. Uh, Bronny James is the number one ranked player somehow, so I we might just keep that second round pick. To be really honest, there's no trades. I think I want to make because remember I only get three trades um, a season, and I'm not sure I want to waste one of them here. Although, we really could move on from Terry Rozier here and clear up some cap space. We're going to try a trade here. I might have to give it a little bit more, but it's going to revolve around Terry Rozier to the Pelicans for mainly the 16th overall pick. I wonder if I can get this done without Kelly Oubre. I, I can, because they have the salary cap room, and we'll be shedding a lot of money here. Should I try and get number 11 instead of 16? I might try and get 11 and this second round pick and i'll give him our second round pick it is good the hornets get the 11th overall pick and move on from terry Rogier's big contract that is trade one we have two more left for this entire season not just the off season the entire season so we'll see who i don't know who that is but he got drafted number one overall that seems to be the zach levine replacement i want to see where Bronny gets trade um gets uh drafted dj wagner goes to the pelicans I guess to sit behind Terry Rozier for a year. 
uh, the Orlando Magic, Justin Edwards, the Seattle Sonics draft, Bronny James. He is going to an expansion team to be their franchise player. That's going to be a fun team to play against. Ron Holland goes to the scouts, and this is your guys' first look at these uniforms. I think the Sonic uniform court logo all looks amazing. The Thunder have back-to-back -back picks here. They picked Cody Williams, small forward, and Tyrese Proctor, small forward. Mikey Williams goes to the Timberwolves. That's a really good pick for Minnesota. The Hornets down the clock. I am going. We have a trade to announce. The oh my god, we traded our pick for Draymond Green because it's not auto. Oh my god, we just traded our pick for Draymond Green. I forgot I had it on auto. I oh my god, you cannot ask for a worse trade. I just did a trade to shed salary cap. Wow, wow, I could not be more upset with this front office. With this front office, Off uh, office, office. Wow, bro, what are we doing? Three years. 20 oh my i have to use one of my trades to get rid of this man i can't believe i can't believe that just happened i can't i can't believe that just happened i can't believe my assistant gm just did that wow i used one of my trades to get that pick and they traded it away for draymond green who's making even more money than terry rogier i have no choice i have to use my second trade to get rid of draymond green all right i'm gonna attempt this trade here uh, Draymond Green, Marcus Sasser. I don't really even want that first round pick. I mean, I'll take a 2028. Please go through. Please, please. I need to make sure this goes through. I'll be brutally honest with you. I need to make sure this trade goes through. And I think that involves me throwing in a few seconds. I cannot risk this trade not going through. It does. We got a backup point guard. We move on from Draymond Green. We have one trade left for the entire season. I forgot we need to bring back Lamella Ball. I don't think bringing back Lamella Ball is going to count. That's not going to count. So if we need to bring back players, that won't count towards our um, signings. So we still have three signings. We have a backup point guard. So we really need depth and a starting small forward is what we need. So let's see. LeBron James is a free agent. I'm going based off realism and the Lakers offering him a minimum contract that he's interested in. I don't know. I don't care. Uh, Kawhi Leonard wants $52 million. The Mavericks giving him 11 mil. AD wants 52 mil. He's going to the Spurs. That's a big yikes. Uh, do we have the money? We don't have the money for Jalen Brown. First things first. Offer LaMelo a contract. He's going to sign with the Pacers. No the hell you ain't. We're going to match that contract 100%. Now that we're going to match that, we need to find someone that we can pair. That we can get with him to sign at the same time. And there are not many small forwards, bro. Not many. This Chris Middleton, but he's asking for a lot of money. I think, I think we should look at Herb Jones. Imagine a wing duo of Herb Jones and Cedric next to me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at Herb Jones. Definitely. Does he have any offers? He has one. It's his restricted, so we can lowball him a little bit. We're gonna do a team option there. Let's see. Lamel Ball prepared to accept. No, the hell you ain't. We cannot get Herb Jones because of LaMelo, right? Wow, bro. What happens if I... No matter what, we can't... That don't make much sense. Now we can get him. That... Why? I have I have the rights on him. I have the rights on LaMelo. I should be able to get him no matter what. That doesn't make much sense to me. I'm gonna have to uh, simulate past moratorium because there's a glitch where it won't sign Lamelo to his big contract. Uh, yep, he signed to it. All right. I just saw we did sign someone. We signed another backup point guard. What is? What are we doing? <laughs> now we have two undersized backup point guards. I I love the signing of Tyus Jones, but we just traded for Mike Conley. What are we doing? Oh my god, now we have no money. Now we have no money to spend. Because they just spent it on Tyus Jones, even though we, we have a backup point guard. I can't believe this. They are not that's a really good contract, but now we're kind of screwed. Now we're really screwed. Oh bro. I don't want to use my last trade in the offseason because that means Whatever team we have in the regular season is the team we have. Wow, bro. I still have all three of my free agent uh, offers, too. 
and I don't have a great selection. I have a pretty terrible selection, to be brutally honest with you. LeBron James signs a two-year deal with the Lakers. Kawhi goes back to the Clippers. AD, though, leaves the Lakers for the Spurs. Jalen Brown goes to the Bulls. That kind of... That's a great sign. This man's going to average 35 with them. We get with Melo back. Paul George goes back to the Clippers. Uh, everyone else looks like they have gone back. Siakam goes to the Jazz. That is very interesting. Lonzo Ball resigns with the Bulls. Fred Van Vliet goes to the Clippers. Are loading up here. Quickly gets signed by the Magic. Another guard. Fies Harris to the Jazz. James Wiseman to the Raptors. The Clippers are loading up their roster for a potential run. With a lineup of Van Vliet, Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, Christian Wood, and Zubac. I don't know how they had the money for that. That's insane. That's going to be a team to look out for. I guess we're simming the player progression. Not much that can be done here. We have plenty of guard depth. You all know that. Little ball gets better. Uh, Cedric Lewis. I forgot we have upgrade points. And here are the stats. I forgot to put it in. That was the stats for game five. Except and I did accidentally put a win in. So I'm just going to quickly go in for zeros for literally everything. I shouldn't get any XP here. So uh, we do not win except it goes straight to game seven. So did I accidentally or do I have to hit? Do I have to hit Tim to next season? Maybe, maybe I hit. I'm going to do it one more time. I'm going to put the zeros in one more time. I don't think I got any XP there. All right, let's try it again. All righty, we're in the all season. Uh, select two activities. Work on your shot. Rebound to camp. Um, let's go with um, dunking and jumping. No, no, no. We're going to go with agility training. Agility training and conditioning. We will do that. Advance. So I have 99 stamina, 92 lateral quickness, 97 acceleration, and now 99 speed. 92 lateral quickness and accelerate. No, stamina. It's up to a 99. We're going to accept that summer league. Simulate a uh, how many games? Zero because we're not playing the summer league. Except I just realized I was talking about putting in the stats. You didn't see me. I put them in. Season two. Obviously, it's starting. I'm going to edit schedule for the teams I will play. We're going to go to upgrade. And I said I'm mainly going to work on badges here. So we are an 87 overall. You guys can't see it. So the badges. We need help shooting wise. So, um, dead eye, we gotta get up. We have gold dead eye now. I think that's the best I can get it. Uh, I don't. I still don't know what the hell this is. Uh, these are all on gold. Uh, claymore, get up to gold. Catch and shoot, get up to gold. This is this is where I'm gonna spend most of my points here. Um, we're gonna put break starter. We're gonna buy that. Ball. I don't know what ball stripper was, but I just bought it. Alrighty, as you can see, I only have 600 XP, and that's because I upgraded all of these badges. And I'm now going to put them on Cedric Lewis, but I'm going to do that off camera. And that's going to be for me. I hope you guys did enjoy this short off-season video. The team, the off-season didn't go the way I'd expected it to. And I'm just looking at my 2K screen, and I realized they gave Cedric a bunch of badges. I'm going to take most of those off. Anyways, that's going to be for me. GG.